Let's get started. The first thing I like to do is have a nice strong header for the days of the week. So I'm selecting that table and I'm going to change, hover my mouse over here and make sure that it's changed to an arrow. So when I click on it, it will select everything in this row. Then I'm going to go over to table design. Now, of course, I can select any one of these designs. This particular design is not too bad, really, but most of the styles for the tables here are more suited for data rather than calendars. So I want to create something uniquely mine. I'm going to go ahead and clear the table design. Go back up here and select the first row. And for the shading, I'm going to do a nice light aqua color like that. And maybe what I want also is the text to be white. In that case, I'm going to select a deeper color here. And I am going to change the text for the header to all uppercase. And then I want the Sundays to be different than the rest of the week. So I'm going to select these rows here, or rather these cells here. Notice I'm not doing the entire row like this because that will also select the top and I do not want to change the, the day cell. I just want to change the date cell. So I'm selecting all of that by dragging and dragging through down there. And I am changing the text to a red because that's usually what Sundays will be marked as red. And maybe I also want the background to have a light shading, like a gray shading like that. Now I can keep the lines if I want to. For simplicity's sake, I'm just going to keep everything and you can remove the lines if you want to. Let's say I'm happy with this particular style and I go over to the next page on the next month on the calendar and of course, it's not styled the way I want it to. And the last thing I want to do is to go and recreate every step of the way for, for 12 pages. So instead of doing it one by one, I am going to go back up to this, select this calendar, or rather this table, go over to right slide, Click Table Format Painter, click over here, and click on it. And it will start applying the cell formats and everything, basically just copying the styles over from the first table to this table, and it will take a few minutes for it to work. Now, sometimes, like in this case, you will find that the text kind of shifted a little bit. In this case, there's no big deal. I would just go back here and do that again. And it's probably because in this column, there is no date. So one way to fix that is to make sure that I have the right justification over here, align, and instead of Times New Roman over here, I want to change it to whatever that's here as well. So make sure that all the empty cells are the same text so that it will carry forward properly. So let's do it again for the, the other third one. Let's go back here, bright slide, table format painter down here and click. Okay, now that it's done, as you can see, there are no styles changes I need to do because I have already filled in all the blank spaces with the correct styles that I need. So everything carries over perfectly. I hope this has been helpful.
this should cut down your calendar styling tremendously. Hey, it's Lynette from Thrive Anyway. If you enjoyed the video, please do me a favor. Like the video and subscribe to our channel to get notified when we publish new ones. It will help us tremendously and spur me to make more for you. Thank you so much for your help. We love and appreciate you.